Good morning. This is Dr. Paul Martin with Brilliant Life Chiropractic, and today I'm here to talk about the evils of medication. No, not really. I am not anti-medication, um, as it may sound like. Uh, I do think that there are alternatives a lot of the time, and I think the most important thing about medication, about medicine in general, is to be aware of why you're taking it, and the effects that it can have on the body, and how that might inform your other choices as far as what you're doing. Um, now, you know, many medications have what are you know, euphemistically referred to as side effects. Uh, the thing about side is that it, 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 it's done deliberately to try and downplay those effects, but guess what? Those are effects of the drug. Uh, those are effects of the chemical, and they're not necessarily the desired ones or the intended ones, but they also happen. Um, for instance, statin drugs have an effect on the liver of reducing the amount of cholesterol that it can make. Um, another effect of statin drugs is that it can uh, reduce the body's ability to produce coenzyme Q10, which is essential for heart health. That's an effect of the drug. It also pr reduces your body's ability to make cholesterol. Uh, which is a whole nother thing I won't even get into right now. Um, and more often than not, medications treat symptoms and not necessarily the disease. So I think it's important to be aware of that. Uh, you know, uh, some examples. Ibuprofen reduces inflammation. It can help you feel better. Unfortunately, inflammation is a necessary component to healing, so you are getting in the way of your body's ability to heal. Uh, sometimes you feel like you want to take ibuprofen or other um, painkillers so that you can get through your day. I understand that. I get that. Be aware of these effects. Uh, proton pump inhibitors uh, reduce the occurrence of acid reflux, um, but they do so at the expense of being of your stomach's ability to produce acid, which is necessary to prevent bacterial infection and can also cause other digestive problems. So these are some other effects of taking that medication. Uh, use of antibiotics can uh, disrupt your normal gut flora, and that can lead to um, uh, you know leaky gut, autoimmune diseases, and even stronger bacteria. So. You know, there are times when they can be helpful tools, um, and the point of this video, as I said, is not to demonize medication, but really I urge you to understand why you're taking it. Understand the reasons, understand the effects, uh, and um, if you're treating a symptom and that's all that you've got, uh, maybe there's another way. Um, so let's say that you had surgery or a bad fall and you're taking a painkiller, whether it's an opiate or a, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug like ibuprofen. Uh, taking the painkiller, you feel better, your pain is muted, and that, you know, is very nice. Um, you feel like you could actually go and do things, and that's where you run into the problem with medication, because by dulling the symptom, you are now no longer aware of your body's inherent resistance to, exer to not exercise, but movement. Um, you might actually want to wait longer before you move. You might not want to push quite so hard and allow the body to, to heal within its normal range. Um, the point is that you don't know because of the meds. I'm not saying they're a bad thing, I'm saying there's an effect, and the effect is that you don't know. If you hadn't taken the drug, you would be in more pain, you would understand what your limits were exactly, um, and you'd be able to respond accordingly. Now, if your pain is so bad that you can't stand it, um, and this is a different level for everybody, you have to do what's right for you. Um, so, you know, bear that in mind is, is really what I'm saying. Now, other medications uh, help with symptoms, not necessarily the cause. They can also cause other side effects. And that's because the body is really an interconnected whole. When you take a drug to push on one biochemical lever in the body here, then it changes something over here. It has other impacts on the body. And, and, and those are sometimes, usually, uh, undesirable. And so what you really want to avoid, try to avoid, is getting into this spiral where you take one drug to have an effect, that causes something else. You take another drug to have an effect on that, that causes something else. You take another drug to have an effect on that. Um, and so, I mean, that can be a real, that can be a real issue. That is one of the reasons why um, most adults in our country are on at least one medication and fully a third of them are on two or three, uh, you know, even by the time they're like 30. I don't know if these stats are completely accurate, but I, I'm pretty close. I know that. Um, the point is that uh, a lot of us are on more than one medication and that, that is a recipe for disaster. Uh, so, I mean, the point of this whole thing, be aware of what you're taking, know the effects, know the side effects, understand, is it treating a symptom or is it actually getting to the root cause? Um, could be diet, could be lifestyle, could be, um, could be something else. Um, and, uh, I mean, diet and lifestyle alone, those are two of the most effective ways to manage your health. So, 
I would encourage you to, to look into those. And if you need help with that, please let me know. Uh, I'm here in Tacoma, Washington, uh, and I can help. Uh, remember that you deserve a brilliant life. Let it shine. That is what I'm, I'm so passionate about, everybody living a brilliant life, being healthy. Without your health, everything else suffers. So uh, take care, and uh, later.